Hey guys, what is up? Hopefully this is Steve Middleman here with Guides Enjoy. for Us All, and today we're going to be checking out the unique weapon microwave emitter in the Fallout 3 DLC, Point Lookout. Now, once you get to the end of the main storyline quest, A Meeting of the Minds, after you uh, confront Professor Calvert with Desmond, in the reward vault behind where Professor Calvert's brain was, you will find the microwave emitter. Now, the microwave emitter is a unique version of the Mesmatron, however, it is very different. It does not use Mesmatron power cells, it actually uses microfusion cells, which are much more common, obviously. It has five shots in the clip, actually deals 60 damage per shot instead of one, has a 2x percentage critical multiplier, and 100 damage on a critical hit. Now, you can only fire this about 375 times from full condition before breaking, and since its damage is so high, uh, especially if you land a critical, you can deal massive damage to enemies. Now what else is amazing about this weapon is that it completely ignores damage resistance, making this a fantastic weapon against really heavily armored foes like the Meyer Lurks or the Enclave Soldiers. Now, that said, the weapon is actually kind of awkward to use since it does have a slight delay after clicking to firing and it is really hard to aim in first person mode because of the fact that the weapon covers up so much of your screen. Now, the cool thing about this weapon is it can burn the enemy, set them on fire, make them explode or disintegrate them with that microwave radiation you're shooting at them. It can even cause limbs to gib even without the bloody mess perk and headshots can cause their heads to explode. Now a weird thing about it is fatal critical hits will not turn them into piles of goo like plasma weapons normally do, but it'll turn them into piles of ash like laser weapons do. An interesting thing, but not really that big of a deal. This weapon is pretty solid, especially against heavily armored enemies, like I said, because of the fact that it completely ignores damage resistance. Uh, this just brings up the thought into my head about the unique sledgehammer was going to remove 5 damage resistance when it hit the enemy, and they didn't put that in the game like they thought it would be overpowered, but then they proceeded to put the microwave emitter in the game, which completely ignores damage resistance. Just some questionable questionable balance in Fallout 3 that I've noticed playing through it a second time. <laughs> but this is a fantastic weapon. Make sure you grab it after you proceed through the Point Lookout DLC. It is very useful. Anyways, thanks for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future and I will see you next time. Goodbye.